Ah! Ah! Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. For those of us living in cities, a lot of us don't think of mink as anything other than a fur coat worn by Marilyn Monroe. But mink are actually found across Canada and the United States. Our species, the American mink, is a tough competitor, larger and more adaptable than the European species. American mink have been introduced to Russia and Europe, and they're starting to outmuscle the native European mink, pushing them out of habitat and stealing their food. The Cold War may not be dead after all. Mink always live near rivers, streams, lakes, they spend a lot of time in the water and are great swimmers and divers. They eat fish, frogs, snakes, birds, muskrats, just about anything meaty. They'll even go up against bigger things like bobcats, coyotes, and swans, which we know from a couple weeks ago is a bad idea. Look at it go, that scrappy idiot. They are carnivores, related most closely to other mustelids like weasels, ferrets, badgers, and wolverines. No, no, not, not that one, but you know, let's just... <sighs> because mink live near water and eat what's found in and around water, they've been really affected by pollution and pesticides that are found in rivers and streams, so much so that they're used as an indicator species for water quality. So where you find lots of wild mink, you find good water. If you don't find lots, then hmm, you should be suspicious. Because their populations are dwindling in the wild, they're now heavily farmed to meet the demand for their fur. There are about 125,000 mink in fur farms in Ontario alone. And once the female gives birth in spring, that number jumps to more than half a million. This is a huge downer, guys. Maybe you stick to the faux fur next time? Mink fur is highly prized because it's dense, shiny, and soft. Their fur is like that because they're semi-aquatic, and that dense coat keeps them warm and toasty in cold water. The guard hairs in their fur keep them waterproofed. So if you've ever used mink oil to waterproof your shoes or boots, you've actually been spreading the fat from under the skin of the mink onto your leather. Yum. Folk wisdom portrays minks as serial killers, slaughtering everything in their path in a wild killing spree. This actually isn't that far from the truth. Minks kill their prey by biting their necks and sucking their blood. So given enough prey, say in a hen house, the resulting scene can be worthy of an episode of Dexter. If you get them young, as kits, minks can be playful and affectionate pets. Not that you should keep them as pets. Like skunks, mink have very well-developed anal glands, but unlike skunks, they can't direct their scent, so it just goes everywhere. Minks, don't try them at home. What animals should I check out next? Let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. For more on the problems that face city-dwelling minks, be sure to check out City Wildlife Rescue. I'll put a link in the description. Make sure to go check them out and donate if you can. Thanks for watching!